hello guys this is dr possibility from excel academy kindly make sure that you register with excel academy and please make sure that you subscribe to our youtube channel let's quickly look at the anterior compartment of the forearm so in this tutorial i'm just going to do my part one of which i'm going to focus on different parts which are found on the anterior compartment of the forearm so let's quickly look at the first question so the first question is name the region shown by the red circle so the region shown by the red circle it is a region where most of the muscles of the anterior compartment of the forearm originate from so if you look at this region this region is just known as the medial epicondyle and they name two muscles that originate from this region so almost all the um, muscles of the anterior compartment of the forearm originate from this region so i can simply pick two one is the pronator teres two it is the wati palmaris longus the next question is name the muscle shown by an arrow so the muscle which is shown by an arrow it is a muscle which is coming from the medial epicondyle and going this side so this muscle is just simply the what the the pronator teres so if you look at this structure this structure is a tendon that's why we have said tendon of the pronator teres state the nerve that innervates the muscle so it's just the median nerve then let's quickly look at the next question name the structure shown by an arrow so if you look at this structure this structure we are in the palm here and this structure is simply the what the the aponeurosis which is called the uh, palmo aponeurosis what type of tissue makes up this structure so the tissue which makes up uh, this structure is just the what the deep fascia okay let's quickly move on and look at the next question state the innovation of the structure shown by the red arrow so this structure it is a structure which is normally called the flexor capi regularis so if you can look at this muscle it's originated from the medial epicondyle and going toward the radial bone so if you look at this muscle this muscle is just simply called the flexor capi regularis and it's innervated by the median nerve then label the structure indicated by the yellow arrow so this structure is just a muscle which is coming from the medial epicondyle and then it will first create or form a tendon and this tendon will be moved from all this region up to that region until it changes into what an aponeurosis so this muscle is just the paumo uh, palmaris longus and the part which has been indicated here is just the tendon so the muscle itself is there but this is the tendon that's why i've put tendon of the palmaris longus let's quickly move on and look at the next question name the muscle shown by the arrow so the muscle shown by the arrow it is a muscle which is again originating from the medial epicondyle and this muscle is sending four tendons one two three four and normally these tendons are going toward the the the, the four digits which is the four fingers and when you look again at this muscle this muscle is not shiny as compared to another muscle which is below it and that muscle it is a little bit shiny because of its tone tendons are normally being sent at um sent earlier than the the time this guy sends its tendon so this muscle is just the flexor digitorium superficialis then state the nerve that innervate the muscle it is just the median nerve state the insertion of the muscle like i've said this um muscle it's normally inserts on the anterior margin on the base of the middle pharynges of the four fingers let's quickly move on and look at the next question uh name the muscle shown by the red arrow so this muscle which is shown here this muscle is just the flexor capi analis you can notice that this muscle it is on the owner side of the hand and you can just use the the finger here as a reference remember we have flexor capi regularis and flexor capi analis so the muscle there is just the flexor capi analis 
State the nerve that innervates the muscle, it's just the ulnar nerve. State the bone found at the region shown by the yellow arrow. So um, when the flex acapi analysis is moving from the medial epicondyle going toward the middle the, the the small finger there, it will normally form a bone. There is a bone within it, and that bone is known as the what is the PC form. Let's quickly move on and look at the next question. Label the part indicated by the red arrow. So the part which is indicated by the red arrow is just the um Frexa digitorum profunda. So if you look at this muscle, it's normally shiny in nature as compared to the Frexa digitorium superficialis. Identify the structure marked by the yellow arrows, which is just the Frexa capi analysis. Okay. So, ladies and gentlemen, please make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube channel and make sure that you register with Excel Academy. So, name the structure shown by the arrow so the structure here it is just the synovial sheath so in the synovial sheath you you need to expect the the passing of some tendons and also the the owner nerve and also the owner artery they normally pass through the same sheath so uh, state the function of this sheet so it's just protect the flexor gitolium profundus remember the, the tendons which are down there are the tendons of the flexor gitolium profundus so this rectal sheet is just there to protect the, the tendons which are inside there okay so ladies and gentlemen thank you very much for joining me this was dr possibility from excel academy please make sure that you subscribe to our youtube channel and make sure that you register with excel academy